This video demonstrates how to check the hydraulic reservoir level for Phenom 100 aircraft equipped with spoiler panels. Be sure to follow all the steps in this video to avoid damaging your equipment. For further information, please check the pilot's operating handbook or the aircraft maintenance manual. The following task must be done with jocks on all wheels. The use of a GPU is recommended to save battery voltage. For this procedure to be successful, the hydraulic system must be de-energized by turning off the hydraulic pump selector knob. Make sure that the landing gear lever is in the down position. Open the brake CB D25 on the right CB panel and wait 5 seconds before closing it. Fully press the brake paddles and keep them in this position for 3 minutes or until the hydraulic pressure on the synoptic page stops decreasing and is less than 100 psi. Slowly cycle the emergency parking brake handle until the brake indication lamp on the main panel stays off with the handle applied. Check the nitrogen pre-charge of the emergency parking brake accumulator in the synoptic page and compare it with the nitrogen pre-charge chart available in the POH. If necessary, contact maintenance personnel for nitrogen servicing. Open the hydraulic system fluid level indicator access door and the hydraulic accumulator dump valve access door. Dump the hydraulic accumulator by pressing the dump valve on the hydraulic power pack and make sure that the two differential pressure indicators are not extended. On the hydraulic fluid level indicator, make sure that the indication is between the red and green lines. Coming up some examples. No line is shown. Fluid level is low. Showing red line flush with reservoir wall. Fluid level is low. Showing red line indication only. Fluid level is in the operational range. Showing green line flush with reservoir wall. Fluid is at the maximum level. And as a good practice, it is recommended to drain the fluid until the green line disappears. As per the previous example. Green line is forward from reservoir wall. Fluid level is overfilled and must be drained until the green line disappears. Check the indication of the accumulator nitrogen precharge gauge and compare it with the refill placard graphic. If necessary, contact maintenance personnel for nitrogen servicing. After this procedure is accomplished, the engine start must be done with chocks on all wheels or the hydraulic pump selector knob must be switched to the auto position and then wait 50 seconds before applying the parking brake. 